Right, hi everyone, it's Chris, 2E0UKH, just about to do a video on uh, programming channels. Finding a channel with search and programming it to a memory channel. And if you find these videos useful, I need people to click like or subscribe. It tells YouTube that the videos are useful and uh, you'll be notified of new videos. So if you find them useful, click subscribe and you'll get new videos when they're uh, created. Right, hi everyone. This is Chris 2E0 UKH. And nearly every day I'm getting questions about this scanner, the Uniden Bearcat 125, very popular cheap scanner, quite affordable. It's got close call option on it, which is very good. And um, questions asking how do you put frequencies in them, you know, when you're starting out. So I'm just going to put a, a frequency in and show you how to scan them and how the banks work because they're all related subjects. So switch the radio on with the power button. To find frequency, you've got to be in search mode. Search, search mode there. Press hold, put in the frequency 122.700. Press hold again. And that's took me straight to that and it's automatically given me the correct mode, which is AM. So once you've got the frequency you want, you can save that to a memory with function and enter. Save frequency. So I'll save it. It's telling me there's no empty channels. I know that. So I'll put it in that frequency there, in that channel there, 448. So if I want to save it to 448, I press enter. This will be overwriting the channel I've already got in. If you don't have a channel in, it won't ask you whether you want it overwriting. I haven't got a spare channel, so I've got to go over the top of one. So for, there's already a channel there, so I'll press enter to go over it. Um, and you can enter a tag for it, which is a name. So I'll just call it air using the clicker on the top A and you've got left and right on the four and six buttons. So move it right. A, I. A, I, R. I'll just call it something like that quickly. It says four and six there for cursors. Press enter. And that's not now gone in as that channel. So I'm going to come out using the clicker knob on the top. Choose exit. So that channel has gone in, in that channel. That frequency has gone in that channel. And to, to go to that channel, you could, you could press scan and then hold. I've done this so many times practicing. I've forgotten which one it is, but I think that's the channel. If it's not, it's that one. Now it's that one. See, so a lot of preparation goes into these videos. I put three channels in just uh, messing about. It was that one, wasn't it? 448. So the channel's in. Now, when you got all the channel, you keep repeating this until you've got all the channels in you want. That's how you do it manually. And when you've got the channels in, you can scan those channels. And these channels, this radio holds 500 normal channels that are programmed in. And you can scan 
you scan them in blocks of 50. And this is telling me that bank number 9 is active. So if I press scan, that would scan the ninth bank of 50. So I think that's it's 400, channel 400 to channel 450, something like that. And you can have any combinations of channel of banks. So you could have you could have a load of aircrafts on bank one and two. You could have all your ham radio in three and four. And organise it any way you want. So if you press scan, that will scan the bank indicated. So I just turn the volume up. So there's someone, I think. So that's scanning. And if I press these numbers, 1 to 0, if I press 1 to 0, scan. 1, 2, get rid of the volume with a click. It's now scanning air, uh, air on 1 and 2. If I press zero, that would enable the bank where that channel was that I programmed in. So you can have any combination of banks. And if there's something that's annoying, you like that one, that keeps coming up, I don't know where that. You can press this once and it will lock out that channel just on this session of using the radio. Press it once, it says temporary lockout. So that's temporarily locked it out. If I switch the radio off and then back on again, that will come back. If that's really annoying and you don't want to hear from it again, you can press it, I think it's twice, and you get, and it just says lock out. Press it, so it was temporarily lo locked. Pressed it again and it became unlocked. Unlocked, temporary locked. Temporary, unlocked. So you can temporarily lock them out. It must be the VFO, the search that you can permanently lock out. And that's all there is to it really. Scanning channels and adding them. You can only scan channels if the volume is, uh, if the squelch is up. If you've got a load of channels in and they won't scan, it's because you've got the squelch set too low. So to alter the squelch, it's function and then the click, click a knob, that'll alter the squelch. And if you wanted to just alter the volume, I'm trying to get rid of that squelch off it off the screen. If you wanted to just alter the volume, you'd use the clicker knob, and that's volume. So Dublin, that's just a bit of interference. So I'll just lock that one out. Press lock out, get rid of that one. If you want to stay on a channel that you've just scanned and found, you can press uh, hold and it will stop on there. And there is a load of menus, extra menus to do with scanning if you go function enter. The channel that it stopped on, you can edit the tag, you can change the frequency, you can alter the tones, set the modulation from AM to FM. Set it as a priority channel. 
delay if you put a delay on it it will stop on there for a certain amount of time you can change the time there press the dot see that that comes out of it it's not immediately obvious you can unlock all the channels so if I've gone if I've gone round locking them all um, locking them out you can bring them all back you can delete a channel you can clear a whole bank all the bank 1 to 50 if you wanted to get rid of that you'd press clear bank because I'm in bank 2 it's given me the option to change that to clear that bank I'm not going to do it but you can clear a whole bank and get 50 more channels back and that's everything really all the basics to do with searching finding a channel you wish to save writing it to a memory channel, scanning it, locking it out and uh, that's all there is to it. Okay, right, 7-3. I'm going to have a quick listen here. 2E0UKH. So just a quick amendment to, the, to what I said earlier. Just playing with the radio. You can permanently lock out the channels with the lockout button. Pressing it once Press, let's just reset it. Press it once, it will be temporarily unlocked out. Press it again, it will be unlocked. But if you press it quickly, it's locked out and it stays locked out for good. You switch the radio off and it will be locked out forever until you unlock it. If you want to unlock it, you just press that again and it's unlocked. So you've got a choice of temporary, unlocked, or do it twice quickly, it will lock it out. Okay, 7-3. 2E0UKH.